Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 443. What is dementia? Dementia is a loss of brain function that occurs with certain disease. It affects the memory, thinking, language, judgment, and behavior. Name some conditions that can lead to dementia. Conditions that can lead to dementia include Alzheimer's disease, Pick's disease in which there would be frontotemporal dementia, Lewy body dementia, and creutzfeldt jakob disease. What is the most common cause of dementia in elderly? The most common cause of dementia in elderly is Alzheimer's disease. Which group of patients have high risk of developing Alzheimer's disease? Down syndrome patients have a high risk of developing Alzheimer's. What percent of Alzheimer's disease account for the familial form of Alzheimer's? Familial form accounts for 10% of all Alzheimer's disease. Name the three altered protein and their respective chromosome that leads to early onset Alzheimer's disease. The three altered protein includes amyloid precursor protein or APP which is located on chromosome 21. Second is presenilin 1 protein which is located on chromosome 14. And the third is presenilin 2 which is located on chromosome 1. Name the altered protein and its respective chromosome that leads to late onset Alzheimer's disease. The altered protein that leads to late onset Alzheimer's disease is apolipoprotein E4 which is located on chromosome 19. Which apolipoprotein is protective against Alzheimer's disease? Apolipoprotein E2 is protective against Alzheimer's disease and it's located on chromosome 19 as well. What is a gross finding seen in Alzheimer's disease? The gross finding seen in Alzheimer's disease is widespread cortical atrophy. Synthesis of which neurotransmitter has decreased in Alzheimer's disease? In Alzheimer's disease, there is decrease in acetylcholine. What are the histologic findings seen in Alzheimer's disease? The histologic findings of Alzheimer's disease include senile plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. What are senile plaques? Senile plaques are extracellular deposits of beta amyloid in the gray matter of the brain. What can be the eventual consequence if there is too much extracellular deposits of beta amyloid in the brain? If there is too much beta amyloid core, it would lead to amyloid angiopathy and this can eventually lead to intracranial hemorrhage. How are senile plaques formed? Senile plaques are formed when beta amyloid is cleaved from the amyloid precursor protein. What are neurofibrillary tangles? Neurofibrillary tangles are intracellular, abnormally phosphorylated tau protein that becomes insoluble cytoskeletal elements. What are neurofibrillary tangles indicative of? Neurofibrillary tangles correlate with degree of dementia. So the more you see, the greater advancement in the disease. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.